You're listening to the smartest guys in marketing, the best show on the planet for client businesses to learn about traffic, funnels, sales, conversions, and marketing coolness. Chris and Taylor are the founders of Traffic and Funnels, a digital marketing consultancy helping you get paid clients from cold traffic daily. Now, here are your hosts, Chris and Taylor. Let's go. You ready? Bro, I'm recording. What's up, everybody? Stop embarrassing us. It is T Savage and C Nanny, the smartest (laughs) guys in marketing. C Nanny. (laughs) Hey, we should change the name of the podcast to The Smartest Guys in Money. Oh, ooh. Hey, you're looking really fresh today. Thanks, bro. Welcome back to the land of the living. We were out in Newport Beach last week. If you caught the mini episode, cruising around in some Rolls Royces. We rented a couple big houses and told everybody on the internet that they were ours. <laughs> Not really. We didn't do that, man. We didn't do that. We were out hanging with some entrepreneurs. But today, we wanted to talk to you about the new Tripwire. The new mm. and improved 2.0 X 11 Tripwire. We're reinventing the Tripwire. I don't know about you, Chris, but when I think about walking down the road, tripping over a wire... Sounds awful. It's potentially dangerous. Nobody wants to do that. Embarrassing, broken bones. Let me ask you this. Would you rather trip over a wire or (laughs) stumble over over a string? The latter would probably be the better option. It's more comfortable. It's not going to cut your leg up. Stumbling is better than tripping. So the new and improved, you heard it first from the smartest guys in marketing here on the show. The new and improved tripwire. Is the stumble string 2.0? <laughs> like everybody, like their mouth just drops. Like, oh my god, I'm so glad I listened to this podcast. Oh man, so why? All right, jokes aside, jokes aside, yeah. can we build a bridge to this real quick? Like what we're talking to, about. I want you so bad to build a bridge. Yes. So the whole thing that people do with trip wires is they're trying to move a prospect from one point to another, right? So instead of trying to get someone to trip and fall into your customer category. Yes. Right. What about having an option that is better for the long term? Right. So mm-hmm. in regards to that, and we'll talk about the two things that you can do to build this out in your business, but actually having a, a platform where people trust you. What? 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 Trust? I don't think that's possible. <laughs> People like they feel valued. What? Like, right? Okay. You, you have a relationship, you got you have some rapport. That currency is way more valuable than what you're getting via a tripwire. Yeah. Right. So yeah. that's how and, and we'll we'll talk about the topic at, towards the end about what we're doing with our memos. Because some people Taylor might be like, oh, isn't the memo a tripwire? No, it's a stumble string. <clears throat> it's just stumble just told you that. Exactly. Exactly. So how do we do this? If someone's like, man, yeah, I, I feel the same way about tripwires. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to feel like I'm trying to like coerce someone into doing something. And that might not be your intention, but that could be what's going on with how they feel, your prospect, your customer, your client. So why not build a strong bridge that has a lot more longevity with relationship, trust, rapport. They like you. They think you're cool. So what are a couple of ways that we can do this and build this out? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go out of order, which is going to okay. confuse you. But I think the way we, we process and think about the traditional tripwire is actually information. I am more concerned with taking someone, you know, the typical Ascension model, which is yeah. what we're talking about. I'm much more interested and concerned with a person's like psychological Ascension path than I am their customer Ascension path. Yeah, uh, because people come in and this, you know, you call it an informational tripwire, call it whatever you want. People come in believing they have a set belief patterns that's been programmed into them from years, potentially decades of doing business a certain way. And our job is to kind of take them along a path of ascension, not necessarily with their credit card, although it's definitely beneficial. You should give us all of your money. Yep, because we deserve it. But more just so, literally just email us, hello at traffickingfunnels.com, your credit card number. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us how much you want us to pull from it. No, but it's more important to us to, to be able to educate someone and help them overcome 
the different levels of belief that, that we need them to go through. And that's why our marketing is pretty programmed where people on the outside, they're on the outer universe of smartest mm. guys in marketing. The objections we're helping them deal with, the information we're giving them is really designed to ascend them up to the next category. And then that information is designed to send them up to the next category. Yeah. We talked about this in a previous episode, but people cannot, whether you're a consultant or a service provider or you sell you know, Tonka trucks at Toys R Us out in the parking lot, <laughs> people can't buy from you if they don't believe first and foremost that they need to change their current circumstance. And that's yes. the first piece of education. And then once they believe that, they can't buy from you until they believe that your option is better, more credible, more sophisticated and fulfilling than person down the street selling the same thing. Yeah. And so we, we spend a lot of time mapping out the ascension path for someone's psychology and their belief systems before we even get into building stumble strings pro- from a product selection standpoint. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of it is one thing that we've become really good at is creating that awareness in people because they already have the issue. The, a lot of them are already aware that they have a problem. But where the difference is with most people that work with clients is their prospects don't have the awareness that they can help them, mm. right? So I think what we're really good at and what we're talking about here and what I think is way more valuable than just a tripwire is <laughs> Taylor's literally flexing right now. Never so changes, you just, bro. You just threw me off. But having that, building that awareness in them that you can actually help them. Yeah. And that's going to be the difference maker of them saying, yeah, I want to go with the smartest guys, or I want to go with Chris and Taylor, or I want to go with Bob or Susie or whatever, because I know that they can help me get the result that I want. Yeah. Right. And that's way more powerful in putting your energy and your effort into accomplishing that as opposed to maybe getting $10 off their credit card or 50 or a hundred or whatever. True. And let's, uh, I'm going to add this in and I'm going to sneak this into our notes because it's not in here. Sneak it. But there are two ways to really do this process and proof. Mm. And process is actually a form of proof, even though people don't equate it to proof, but in the smartest guys in marketing Facebook group, which is free. Ooh, it is. If you've ever heard of such a thing as people giving free information, so you should go find it. But we recorded a video which kind of outlines some of the proof elements we have in our marketing. But two ways anyways, to really convince someone that you can't help them process and proof. I'm just going to leave you with those two things to meander and consider. So we'll probably put it in a future episode. Uh, those are really important. But let's talk about why you talked in a previous episode about this older guy who's launching a newer take on an older product. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the power of new because reinvention and being able to present yourself as a new version is really, really important, which is why stumble string. I know it's going to take off. <laughs> it's like going to be the next big thing. Cause it's new. It's a Are new version. An email to our attorney this morning. Let's <laughs> trademark that stumble string. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. It's the power of new dude. I almost kind of want to dive into that thing about the process. Ooh. Okay. That's dude, That's so powerful. Proof and process. Like you, and the, I think the thing that I want to highlight is taking people to that awareness that you can help them is you having so much clarity on your process of what it takes to get them to the result is so powerful. I, I think just as powerful as proof. And, you know, we have clients come to us all the time and they, maybe they're launching a new consulting offer or, or wh- whatever it might be. And so they might not have quote case studies proof just yet but where they can win and where they can absolutely dominate is having absolute clarity on the process and it being simple for the prospect to understand. And I think that is just as powerful as having, you know, having quote case studies, proof, whatever. But when you have both of them, it is really, really great. Yeah. So, That's so true just, because, because yeah. people do, they'll, they're like, uh, I don't know what to do. These are clients. So like, I don't know what to do because I, I can't just show them the tank page, like you guys do it. I can't show them the gobs of testimonials. And it's like, well, let me ask you a question. I'm going to close your eyes. <laughs> Unless you're driving. <laughs> Unless you're driving. Then pull over. When traffic and funnel started, how many case studies did we have? And they're like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have any, bro. We didn't have any case studies. We had no freaking proof. 
we had the process that was so Ooh. simple. It was so oh, definable. You could wrap your brain around it. It's like, look, if you do this and you do this and then you do this, Ooh, somebody <sighs> needs to hear it this morning. <sighs> Preach. Like an old school preacher right now. Yes. I just believe for that $10,000 gift to be sent right now <laughs> to our email. <laughs> oh my God. I literally Sorry. just like drooled water all over myself. <laughs> God's going to give you a brand new company car. <laughs> I'm feeling it. That kind of like. Uh, the process, the process, the process is what, is what creates the proof in prospect smarts. Yep. You're pretty good, man. I think we this just take a, a moment of silence. We got to get out of here. This is a mini. We can't keep going. We got to respect right. it this time. Let's just stop it. So stumble string. You got the yep. process. You got the proof. Think about the psychological sophistication, the awareness of your market and make sure you're not, you know, trying to jump into bed with somebody on the first date, but really you've got to court them a little bit and that, and, and follow us and how we do it. If you're not in the smartest guys in marketing group, go in there, see how we put out content that speaks to where people are in that group. And then the podcast information is different. Every type of medium that you use is going to be a little bit different because the sophistication of the people on that medium should change. Right. Yes. So any notes before we wrap up? I think we roll with that. That was fire. Okay. Trafficandfunnels.com slash memos. This mm. is the next level up for you. If you're a podcast listener and you know that we're the smartest guys in marketing, yeah. get on the memos. It, it, it's a hefty investment. It's like, it's like, it's like seven bucks a month. Yeah, no, people so, have raved about that. They love right. it. You get, we send you a letter every single month, a memo. That's about six pages. Um, six to eight. And so we talk about what's happening in our business, things that have gone great, things have, that have not gone so great. So you get like a really in-depth look about our business and people are raving about it. They love it. Yeah. So, and so the next issue, I don't know when this one drops, but um, the next issue, we're breaking down some of the top lessons from the uh, mastermind we had out in California. There were billionaires in this room. Uh, Deck of millionaires, trillionaires. people all over the place. No, there aren't any trillionaires on the planet, but <laughs> that's nice. It's <laughs> nice sentiment. You're a scam, bro. You're a freaking Sorry, scam. Man. So, anyways, check those out. We also have a gift for you, trafficandfunnels.com slash gift. G I F F T T. Hopefully that's all right. Works. Go check it out. Leave us a review. We have 18 reviews and like I checked our stats. We have like over 10,000 downloads from the last month. What are you guys yeah. doing? W period, T period, F period. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> All right, bye. This is the podcastfactory.com.